Hey guys, just want to make this video real quick. I've been struggling with this for a while. This uh, Santex salt water chlorinator. Been working on it for almost a year now. Can't get a hold of Intex. Uh, I don't know if it's COVID or just terrible customer service, but it's supposed to have, I believe, a three year warranty. And I can't get a hold of them to save my life. I've left emails, many phone calls. You're on hold for over an hour and then it'll hang up on you. So. I found something that I think is going to work. I've been messing with the circuit board trying to direct wire it and everything because I keep getting a low salt uh, warning. It'll run for a few minutes and I get low salt. Well, I found this little thing. I believe I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below. But uh, it basically converts AC to uh, 12 volt DC, which is what runs these cells. So I'm going to splice these all together off the uh, actual salt cells and just hardwire it. I know my parts per million on my salt levels is 3,000 or right near, so it's pretty much perfect, but I still get the low salt. And as you can see, the cells are actually very clean, so I know it's not that. Anyways, uh, stay tuned. I'll show you after I get it all wired together. All right, guys, so here's the fix. I put the white wires with the red wire that goes into the unit, and then the black wires with the blue wire and all it's doing is putting 12 volt through these cells and producing chlorine. So I'm going to plug it in now, which of course you're going to lose your salt level sensors, which is the problem with this unit anyways. But uh, I got an outdoor timer I'll be plugging it into. It's waterproof. This unit claims to be waterproof, but I'm still going to find a good spot for it. So I'm going to plug it in here. Got a GFCI out here. Give me one second, hard to do this one-handed. And we should see it come on. You're gonna see it producing chlorine now. There it is, and there it is. So, bypassing it all together, it'll always be producing chlorine. I'm gonna turn the pump on so I'm not sitting there with a bunch of chlorine. But uh, I think this is gonna work. Been dealing with this for about a year now trying everything on YouTube to fix this unit and uh, there we go hope this helps some people out there it's uh, very expensive for these so Intex can't back up their product and I've been trying to get a hold of them so this is my way around it again hope this helps you guys all right guys here's an update I was able to get the unit inside of here I disconnected I don't know what it would be called, but moved a part that since the board's no longer powered, as you can see, uh, here's the cord. I just have the unit plugged into this timer I told you about, and uh, she's still producing chlorine. I can turn the pump off to show you, so it's producing it pretty well, too. So if I turn it off, you can see it build up with chlorine there, and uh, it'll keep going since I got it hardwired. Turn the pump back on. Anyways, uh, do this at your own risk, but I think it's going to work. Best uh, solution I've had so far. And uh, again, I'll link the link, leave the link in the description below. So uh, I believe the part was about 25 bucks, and that's uh, money well spent if this works. So appreciate you watching, and uh, again, I hope this helps some people out there. Take care.